Okay, a little puzzle for you. Say I gave you this number, right, and I told you that's the amount in your bank account, and you could have one of two options. You could look at that value as base 10, what we're used to, or we could look at that value as base 2, which is what I just introduced to you in the last video. So, in which situation would you have more money in your bank account? Pause, pause the video, and I want you to think, what. If I think of this number as a base 10 number, is it bigger? Or if I think of it as a base 2 number, is it bigger? So pause the video using the concepts we discussed in the last video and, and think about it. Write down your answer or just come up with the answer, whatever you want to do, and then unpause the video and I'll talk you through it. You didn't pause the video. I told you to pause the video. Pause the video! Okay, good. So let's work through this. Um, first of all, in, in base 10, if this is, let's do base 10 in red here. All right, if this is my bank account, this will be one thousand eleven dollars. That's that's a nice hefty bank account, okay. But in base two, that what I introduced to you, the only thing you know right now is is how to count. So let's just count until we get there. So base two, we're gonna say zero, and then one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then let's see five. Six, seven, eight. Okay, we're getting closer. Notice we have four digits up here, and now we have four digits right here. So we're we're at eight right now. Okay, that's eight, nine, ten. Ooh, we're getting to the bottom of the recording area here, and eleven. Okay, so in base two, this number here is 11. Let me write that in a base 10 value there. So that'll be $11. Okay, now why? Wait a minute, wait a minute. We had $1,000 here, we had $11 here. Which one? Hopefully it's obvious which one you would want your bank account to be interpreted as. It's, it's base 10. That's a pretty big number. 1,000 is much bigger than 11. So I'd much rather have this be a base 10 value. So again, from the last video, why do we even bother with this binary system? Well, it, it seems complex, but it's not. It's 0 and a 1. That's much simpler than 10 values. But more importantly, computers store zeros and 1s. And you've probably heard that uh, somewhere. It's all zeros and 1s. And what does that really mean? Well, it literally means it's either on or off. They're, they're binary values. So that's a, that's a good little exercise, and I hope you work that out with me. Um, Let's do some exercises interpreting these values. Okay, the, you can see the way I interpreted this value was rather slow. I said zero, one, one zero, one one, one zero, and so on and so forth. Let's uh, let's do some more of this though. It, it is slow, but it's it's useful, I think, to think like that. So let me let me give you another binary number. Okay, here's a binary number, and you tell me using the techniques I just showed uh, by counting essentially. Uh, what what is this binary value? Let's pause the video, work it out on paper, and then come back and what is the base ten value of this binary number? And binary, it's easy, it's one zero one. But but if I want to know the base ten value, well well what is it? Pause the video, work it out on paper, and then I'll come back and work it with you. Okay, using the simple counting technique, let's do it. And and uh, I'll, I'll I'm going to, I'm going to write zeros out here just to keep some consistency. So this is one. Two, three, four, five. All right, that is in decimal. We think of that as the number five. In fact, actually, let's let's uh, uh, in decimal. When I say decimal, it's base ten. Okay, that's what we're used to. But the number five. And how do we get that? Well, you know, I did skip a value here. We should insert the value zero right here. So there's zero. And then let's just write the decimal equivalents out here to the right. So this is zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and so there we go, we have our five. And again, think of the odometer counting up, except the odometer only has two digits instead of ten per dial. And so we go zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. And same thing over here, we go zero, one, you know, and then the one, and then as, as this guy gets bumped, he goes to a zero, and so on, and he bumps his neighbor, and so on and so forth. So that's one way to uh, get a binary value out, for sure, to, to convert a binary value to a decimal value, something that we're used to. This, I must admit, I've been doing computer science for uh, 
oh, about 12 years now, and still, you know, we we deal with decimal numbers continuously, more, much more often than binary numbers, just, you know, when I'm dealing with my bank account and doing math and that sort of thing. So five actually has meaning to me. Like five dollars, that's, that's a cheap lunch, okay? Whereas if I look at this value, okay, yeah, I know what that means as a computer scientist. Yes, I can work with it and interpret it. But I still haven't got to the point where, like, oh, that's a cheap lunch. No, that's it. <laughs> I'm not that far quite yet. Maybe, maybe I should just force me and my family and everyone to talk binary so that this actually has meaning to me. Anyway, so that's a pretty primitive way of coming up with the decimal value of this binary number. Let me show you a different way to do this. What if I gave you the number, the binary number 1011101. One, 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 one. Okay, and I said, okay, what what is this? It's decimal value. Well, using the techniques I've shown you thus far, You'd probably say, okay, well, I'll count up to this number. So, 0, 1, 2, 3. But hopefully you realize it's going to take a long time to, at least using this, it's take much, much too much video time to count this high. There's got to be a better way of figuring out what this binary value is. At least it's de decimal equivalent value. So, let me show you what that is. It's hopefully pretty straightforward. This digit here represents 1, this digit represents 2, this is 4, this is 8, this is 16, this is 32, this is 64, and this is 128. And if I had more digits out, we'd, what, what's the pattern we're doing here? Can you see the pattern? Hopefully the pattern between these values. You know what, maybe I'll drag this down. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. What's the pattern as I move those numbers from the left to the right? What's the pattern that I was doing? Well, hopefully you can see I'm just multiplying by 2 every time. This is 1, and then 1 times 2 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 2 is 16, and so on and so forth. Now, why 2? Well, we'll get to that a little later, probably in a future video. But again, think of the number 2, and then think of what I said in, in the first video. By, binary, by, okay? So there we go. All right, well... L little f foreshadowing to what's coming up. But for now, you can think of this as 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, all that kind of thing. Uh, so what is this number? If this In base 10 or decimal, what is the value? Well, it's 1, 1, okay, because I have 1, 1, 0, 2s, so I'm not going to do any 2s. It's 1, 4, okay, 0, 8, 1, 16, okay, 1, 32, all right, uh, 0, 64s and 1, 28, or 1, 28, 1, 1, 28. <laughs> Sorry, okay, so let's all that add all this up. All we do need to do is add them, all right? We're just taking one of these and one of these and one of these and adding them. So 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 6 plus 4 is 21, all right, 21, carry the 2. I'll carry the 2 up there, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then one plus nothing is one, so it's it's 181. This binary value here, interpreted as decimals, 181. Well, how can I check this? Right, I'm going to show you a tool you should use to teach yourself. Don't use it to cheat because if you cheat, when you cheat, you're cheating yourself out of learning. All right, this is simply a tool you should use to make sure that you got the right value, not for you to just cheat and grab the number because then why even watching the videos? Don't even bother with these videos if you don't want to really learn the stuff. You're cheating yourself. And Anyway, let me bring up the tool. I am running a Windows machine, and I have Windows Calculator. All right, pretty, pretty straightforward program here. But if you go here, we go View Programmer. All right, and then all of a sudden, oh, look, look, look. Look at all these these numbers that pop up. We'll, we'll, we'll learn more about this as we go, but we have hex, and we have dest. Remember, I've been talking in decimal, so I can have numbers like this in decimal. Okay, but then we have this the oct. We're not going to talk about oct, but we'll talk about bin, which is short for binary, which is what we're learning here. And I'm going to click binary. And watch what happens as I click binary. What happens to our digits here as I click binary? Watch this. Click. <gasps> I can't touch these anymore. Look at that. They're gone! Okay, what are the only ones I can touch now? Well, 0 and 1. All right, that's a binary system now. I, the only digits we have are 0 and 1. And what's really neat is as I 
fill these numbers in. You can see them popping in up here, but you can also see them popping in down here. And we have up to, um, there's 64 bits because we're zero based here. But well, we'll get into that in a future video. Don't worry about that. But for now, look, it's a binary calculator. All I can do is punch in ones and zeros. That's that's pretty cool. So let me let me clear that out. And here I want to check. I want to make sure that this value here is 181 in decimal. So let's just punch this number in. It's one zero one 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 zero one zero one one zero one okay there's our binary number and if I want to see its decimal equivalent or its base 10 equivalent I'll just say hey let's let's go to decimal here and this value here will change the decimal so boom 181 alright so there's a way we can verify with this tool that we are correct um, but just, don't just bring this up and type in the numbers and then hit des and see. That, that doesn't do your brain any good. If you really want to learn this stuff, work this out like I did. This this digit means there's one one, and this digit means there's zero twos, and this means there's one four, and so on and so forth. So there you go.